So I've been looking at this 57 GMC for a while. I didn't know it was a 57 GMC till about six months ago because I can only see it from the road out front when those bushes are in fall mode. But I did get a good look at it and I talked, geez, that grill is just beautiful. 57 GMC, this is a one year treatment for this grill on a GMC truck. A lot of people like them. Someone took the emblem off though. Probably a, well, it's gotta be above one ton, so it's a probably a 300 and up series. It looks very solid to me. Well, the fenders aren't rotted out there where they usually are. Didn't turn out well for the driver. Didn't turn out well for the driver. The yeah, windshield's not a problem. Uh, this truck is really solid though. Look at the condition of the gauges. Um, the doors are very solid underneath. Rockers, it's got the steps. Those are factory steps. Nice seat. Cab's in real nice shape. Even the cab corners are just beautiful on this thing. Floors are nice. Pedals. Uh, this this is a 48,497 mile truck, honey. Yeah. And I'm buying it. I'm believing it. And I am buying it. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that dude gave you a... I made a guy an offer. Uh, well, did I make him an offer or did he make me an offer? I don't know, but I know I remember what the outcome was. I remember what the number was. Yeah. And I like it. Maybe you get that Ford for the same thing. Yeah. Uh, standard heater. It's not a deluxe cab or anything, but, but with 48,000 miles and the price that the guy shot me on this and the condition... Is that for the gas tank? Yeah, it's got two tanks on the back, auxiliary. It's actually got three tanks. Um, yeah, still got the GMC emblem on the heater over there. Is it just a regular shifter, no two-speed? No two-speed. That's all right. It means it's got good highway gears in it. Uh, wow, somebody must have lost a door handle. That's a Chevy door handle. GMCs are supposed to have a white knob like that. Very solid. Very nice 57 GMC sitting right here. We'll be uh we'll be pursuing this. Boy, the doors closes nice and everything. I'm buying the 48,000 miles. What? See what's on his flatbed? Old uh, underlayment. Yeah. Uh, another thing that it, that's real hard to find on these trucks is that splash pan below the eyebrows for the grill. Also, the bumper bullets on these are spaced farther apart and they're different. Those are actually in really good shape. It's got its 57 GMC splash pan in there. Um, the grill's just really nice. A couple minor dings, but got its correct 57 GMC hood emblem. 57 GMC hood. Yeah, I'll be making a phone call real quick here I spied another one back here Jamie's got a thing for these old Chevy and GMC big boy trucks if it's got the flares on it I guarantee yeah oh it's got the flares yeah she'll be in love with this hey he's got the flares huh it's an asphalt truck, asphalt truck. that's scary Whoa. scared of that Asphalt truck. Before and after each use. He's got some stuff going on. Yeah, he's, he's got a ton of asphalt going on. I guarantee you that. Like Billy. Billy has all that. Holy cow, look at all that. This is a busy truck right here. Huh. Etner. His name's Etner. I just really don't think Etner so, folks. Uh-uh. I don't want anything to do with this. Oh, if one of you does... Let me know, but I know about old asphalt trucks. Uh-uh, doors close real nice. No, sir, not for this guy. Nope. I said, uh, I I nope. A, a nope. 
I do really like this factory flared fender thing though. This Ford looks pretty nice over here. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like that. Two-wheel drive, right? Yeah. Wow, this thing is in nice shape. It's got the keys in the ignition. You want to take off? Huh. Two-speed. Factory radio. Very solid truck. I don't want to hear it either about the Fords. F600. This guy's still a runner. He's got the keys in the ignition. He's good till December. Oh, he's got good tags on him? Yeah. All right. What in the heck is that? That's a road grader. It's a road grader that you pull behind something. I could use that. I could use that. A road grader and some steamrollers and a old Ford truck. Let's go look at that steamroller. <laughs> it's got stacks on it. I like the stacks. I like the old Rome Moto Grader too. Well, it's got all the deluxe chrome grill stuff going on. Front end super nice. Wow. It just got opened up. Look at this. Holy cow. This nice. thing's solid. Huh. Wow. Oh, look at the wasps' nests. Look at the gauges. Look at the gauges. Floors are real solid. We'll ask about this one, but we do need to close this door. Yeah. That might have just blown open because it's not latching. Oh. Wow, that's nice. That's like the tanker truck in the movie with Dennis Weaver, Duel, where the tanker truck goes up against the Dodge Dart. Yeah. This thing's in really nice shape. Yeah. We'll be asking about that for some of our Ford guys. Also, please, on my comments, the guys that want to give us a hard time because we look at Fords or Dodges or Studebakers or whatever, don't be locked into a one-make box, please. And if you are, don't hate on people that like all old trucks. Please, it's just actual. old, and it's it, to be honest with you it's kind of ignorant it's like saying everybody that uses shit razors is an ass because i use a gillette razor buffalo springfield <laughs> buffalo springfield that is cool as heck <laughs> that's a serious that's steamroller i like the moto grader yeah me too his controls are awesome. I wonder what his deal is. You know, we could use this out at the property, honey. But I really like that super old one over there. I wonder what kind of power plant. I'm just getting soaked. Moto grader. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, there is. <laughs> this Ford's in really nice shape. You like what? The Buffalo Springfield? Yeah. That could be flattened some stuff, seriously. And then I like the first one too. I really like the first one. That's that cool out in the yard. Yep. Well, I think I could actually put it to work, though. 
Yeah. You know, I'm, if these old boys with. can work, I make them go to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a little weathered. Poor big. That guy's got a cool spotlight on him. I like the Buffalo Springfield. I wonder if that's how the artist found his It could be. We'll be inquiring about that old Ford. Please don't give me a hard time about Fords. I like all old trucks. Classic truck rescue. Jamie and I spent the whole day the other day tracking down who we could talk to about buying this truck that a guy agreed to sell me a long time ago. And it took us in a full circle back to this uh, area that we're going to now. But uh, we'll be back. I'm gonna go pay for a truck. There's Rick. What are you doing? Buying a truck. <laughs> and there's Steve. And we got a little gym today. Right in our own backyard. Look at you. Oh, look at it. It's got underlayment on the back of it. It's all in Spanish. Oh. Maybe that's why. what happened to the driver. See the windshield? <laughs> that looks like a bullet hole. Oh, yeah. Put it in go through the back. Ouch. <sighs> no, uh, Garen, uh, you're buying it as is in Spanish. Oh. It's clean. So. Mm hmm. Look at his body and his grill. Is it an eight? I think, if I remember right, when he peaked, I think it was the inline six, maybe. Am I right? Yep, yep, yep. It looks good, too. Like if somebody made a nest. <laughs> Funny looking air filter. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> well, it could be. Yeah, like old. Hmm. Well. I don't remember. Did he have low miles on him? I know the Ford back there. The flat, it's a Ford flatbed. It's got stacks on it. Pristine, very, really, really, really low miles. Oh, yeah. I've been after this piece of paper for a long time now, huh? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you! And we got permission to look around at the other stuff. Cool. I had to call my buddy Steve, cause he uh, he goes with me to get some pretty cool trucks. But uh, it's clean. Fifty-seven stuff. GMC. Very uh, little rust. Very little rust. Did you read the odometer? Forty-eight thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm buying it. I, I mean, I'm already bought it, but I'm buying the forty-eight thousand just uh, by looking at the way the numbers line up when they go across and uh, well, the wear the on the pads. The engine too. Yeah. I mean, it's clean. Yeah. Ooh, gotta get those things oiled up. Oh, totally unmolested. Dirty, yes, probably because it's been sitting here. Look at the battery box. Yeah. My God. No rust around it. <laughs> I've never seen Is that a nest or is that the air cleaner thingy over there? Where? This right here. This. Uh, it's an oil breather uh, yeah, type just, deal. Yeah. I've got, I've got those. Supposed to have a I got cap, cap on it. it. Uh, I got the cap. Honey, give me some of your hair. I need to clean wow. out my air cleaner. Look at that. Unmolested, not oh. a cut wire anywhere. See, now look, the, uh, what's important on these things is when, when we get these low mileage original trucks that haven't been all cut up and everything, they're good to have around just for guys that are restoring trucks and they, they have questions about where certain clips go, what kind of bolts went here and there. And these are the kind of the uh, trucks that tell that story, you know. You gotta clean off the bed before you take it? Nice roll of uh, yeah. ground cloth there to put underneath rocks to keep your rocks from sinking. Yeah. I'll ask. 
Yeah, this is a done deal on this one. I think I'll bring it. My big air tank. Uh, the steam. beads are broke. Are they? Yeah. Well, Homer won't care. <laughs> you know Homer's gonna drag it up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the beads are all broke. We'll get it up there. I wonder if those tires on the back are spares for it. They're, I think they're spares for it. Yeah. It's all good. This is a good. This is a good rescue. Year and a half. Jamie and I've been driving by here, and those bushes over there get thin enough at a certain time of year where I could catch a glimpse of this. Just the, all I could see was the top of the roof, and we suspected it was one of our trucks. And the first time we pulled in, we happened to be at the gravel pits. We came over here just to look at it, and the guy that owned it happened to pull in the parking lot right then. And I told him what we do and about classic truck rescue and everything. I said, I see you got one back there. And he said, oh, yeah. And uh, I asked him if it would be possible to sell it. And he said, yeah. He uh, threw a price out there that I thought was a little bit low, but he knew what the truck was. And he, he, uh, he, want, uh, he wanted me to keep it, restore it, and make it part of the collection. And like I said, some of these guys that have these trucks and hang on to them for a long time, They'll sell it to someone knowing it's going to a good home. You know, it's like they were care or stewards of it for a long time and they pass it along to another one. But we'll keep this one. Uh, it'll go with Tinker, and Bullfrog, and Homer, and Wendell T, GMC, and the other trucks. Well, we have to name this one Bob then. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be Bob. Bob T. got to call it Bob. Anyway. BT GMC. The biggest part of that story is so we finally get our property cleared enough where we can come back. So we came back and because uh, I couldn't find his phone number. And we called one number that I thought was his number that Jamie found and no answer. So I came over here. The lady in the office gave me a phone number of someone I called that had nothing to do with the truck but gave me another phone number. And we chased his truck around all day and wound up back here and they didn't realize they owned the truck because Bob had passed away. So I told them what kind of truck it was. They searched for a title, they found it, and they go, oh, we do own that truck. But they own a lot of other cool stuff uh, that we would like to see rescued, not scrap. So we're gonna go show Steve some of this stuff. And how ironic that we could have just went to Steve because Bob was Steve's friend. Yeah, but it's a small but we didn't world. Know. Anyway. Mm -hmm. There's an orange Ford truck I want you to look at. You're gonna be amazed when you see it. And there's some- uh, Buffalo Springfield's back old, there. Uh, road making equipment, stuff like that. I already have first option on the orange truck and uh, the equipment we're about to show you. So, and uh, like I said, we don't rush out and get all this stuff so we can hoard it. Once in a while we get one that we wanna make a real nice collection for people to enjoy in the future. But we, we make our living by getting them out of the bushes and sending them on to people that, that do want to restore them. Some people have a different definition of a field of dreams. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Oh, uh, wait till we, I, I'll show you the one I'm really interested in. It's the first one in line over there. And uh, I'm also really excited about the orange truck that you can't see yet. Gosh, <laughs> I know the anticipation, Steve. What is that, a toad grater all the way to the left? Uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't you think that belongs out at the ranch? Oh, you you could uh, you could really fix your road with it. Yeah, what I could. I get rid of those speed bumps. And, oh, there's the Ford. Oh yeah. my. Yeah, yeah. wait till you get up oh, close. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> wait till you see it. Oh. <laughs> that's more like the year I like. Yeah, Jamie was saying before we came out here, watch Steve fall in love with that old Ford. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we are not make uh, specific. I, I prefer 55 to 59 Chevy and GMC trucks, but I get a lot of guys that make negative comments about Fords and, uh, and other makes, and uh, I don't get that. I, I think if you love old American trucks, you can appreciate all of them from different makes. It's all about the condition and the story behind the truck. They're all cool. So uh, yeah, I have a brand that I pres prefer. Um, but my passion for old trucks goes to all old trucks and the weirder the cooler in my book. It's mainly the stories behind them.
I don't always get the story, but sometimes I do. So what would they have pulled this behind? A tractor? A tractor, Steve? a dozer. Anything with a lot of bite, because when that blade digs in, because that's crazy. Holy crazy. cow. Boy, that is going to take me a lot of uh, PB blaster, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of grease, too. A lot of grease. Uh, they used to use about four gallons of grease on this a day. Yeah, we need to save this, Steve. Don't oh, you agree? Yeah. Don't, don't you think Homer and Marge need to make a trip out here and load this thing up? Oh, yeah, yeah, that and one of the rollers. Yeah. So we can uh, get a smaller roller. Uh, I was hoping you'd look at uh, the Buffalo Springfield with me. Came over here, Steve. Uh, it had just rained yeah. and all this grass was wet and Jamie and I didn't even care. We walked right through here and got soaking wet from the knees down. So I think they're all yeah. I think they're all neat. Oh, uh, yeah. but we really like the Buffalo Springfield. Just name. Well <laughs> yeah, we just call them Buffalo Springfield. It oh. makes it easy. That's a little too new for me, and a little more than I need. Um, this would just be cool to bring back to life. Hercules engines. Yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty complete, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What do you think the odds of this thing running are? It's a big boy. What's it say, Steve? I'm trying to read this. Boy, it's got a lot of literature on them tags, doesn't it? Gear shift settings. Huh. Engine JXLD. Uh, JXLD, no year. I think you can figure that out online with the serial yeah, number. Probably. Is the serial number over there? No. Might be on the engine. I know some of my tractors, that's the only way you figure it out. No tag that I can see. I'd be willing some, some of my viewers would know what this is. Go. Find it. Serial number 27286. Buffalo Springfield. And here's, oh, so hard to read. Oh, yeah, I see it. Take some work. Somebody already, nature already did some of the work for yeah. us. Let me get a close up of that. Wish you could see more on the lower tag. That's Sometimes when I film these, Steve, and I go home and look at them, I can read them better than we could out here in the field. Look at this. Well, right. they're in good shape. If we clean them off, we can this read This is them. the one you need. This is a crank start grader. Oh, wow. I didn't see the crank last time we were out here. 1925. What? Holy cow. I gotta take you with me more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and that's a nice Steve. small grader. It'd, it'd fit good on your property. And there's a nice small roller. I like that Buffalo Springfield though, Steve. You just don't want to pull that thing because you know I call you for the big jobs. That's what well, you it know, is. That thing's heavier than what your trailer can handle too. You'd have to have somebody <laughs> move that one. Oh, I know a guy who does that too. <laughs> <laughs> A wrist breaker. Yeah, because oh. it's all gear driven. Yeah, does it kick back? Oh, if you don't get it in there right the first time, yeah, it'll kick back hard. But it's 1925, Steve. Oh, How cool is that? It's, it's gas, it's a huh? dreamer. <laughs> but you can modify those. What the heck we got going on over here? Somebody capped off his header. <laughs> <laughs> he had exhaust cutouts and somebody told him to shut up. So where's the exhaust going, Steve? If I can right back out that cap on the back side. Is it welded on the back side? Or is there a hole underneath? 
There's got to be. There it is. It comes out back around here. Oh, okay. That's a baffle. Yeah. That's a homemade baffle. Guy, guy, guy got tired of listening to that. Probably pretty definitely. Yeah. Okay, so the piece oh, de resistance. Stacked. It's got stacked. The piece de resistance. Check this out, Steve. Is it 51? Yeah. 52? I don't know. Let's figure that out because <laughs> I need them to look for the title. Oh, my goodness. This thing is in such good shape. We didn't pop the hood, Steve. I don't think we popped the hood. We got to be careful. A Ford F6. Can you hold that and I'll deal with the piece? Yes. has been sitting a while so we want to be careful but since we are already locked in on buying it I kind of feel like it's my business Ooh. there we go holy cow look at all those you might want to get back see flathead v8 okay that's all we need to know <laughs> I'm gonna close that hood look at the nest in there yeah I know but look at the flathead v8 yeah I know Man, what a score. It's all unmolested, too. Hey, let's check that oh, mileage it's, out. It's got stacks on it. She's stacked. Okay, we did that without ruining the hinges. We won't do that again without having some oil handy, though. I can get a quick picture yeah. of the license plate. Yeah, let me see that. You want me to go in there and get the mileage reading? But look at the, look at the uh, condition of the metal, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, but look at, look at how solid the rockers and stuff are. It's ridiculous. And the steps. Six, or 59,262. Wow. Even has the shifting points on first, second, and third. On first, second, and third. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I got some good shots of the uh, gauges and stuff on this. But definitely worth it. I'll, I'll follow through on this. Where's it? Is there a tag you can see anywhere? To be completely honest, I don't know where it is on these old Fords. Might be under the hood. I don't know. Uh, that doesn't latch. We closed it. It was open when we got here. But anyway, I got a good enough shot of the chrome trim and the grill and the parking lights uh, to figure out what gear it is. Up on this one. F6. This one's coming home too, but we're going to get the 57 GMC first. We're going to figure out what some of this other stuff is and uh, try to save some stuff for old Bob. And by the way, we are going to name that 57 uh, GMC Bob. <laughs> that guy. The only time I ever, only time I ever met him in my whole life was for about ten minutes, and uh, the guy sold me a truck that he'd been hanging on to for a long time, and wanted it to go to the classic truck rents. And I, I praise God. I'm not going into sermon, but the way stuff happens is awesome. Buffalo Springfield. I believe I might have a Buffalo Springfield album. I do. Got it from my buddy Jack. So, unless we're mistaken, which we could be, it's a 1925 Rome Moto Grader. And Steve says that's the one if I was going to pick one to use out at the ranch, it would be more practical. But Steve, we got to save the other one, right? Oh, you should. Yeah. But that you have to have an acre to turn it around because you're no, it. No, that, Steve, that's yard art that we preserve <laughs> and we make a little roof that goes over it so people can see it and enjoy it. This, this is the kind of you stuff that built. Put it your property with a mailbox mounted on it. No, I will keep it out of harm's way. It'll be for my guests that come to the classic truck range. I want to have stuff like that for them to look at.
lock doesn't hang up. This side is like, looks bad. operating actually my favorite piece of heavy equipment, a scraper, and I guess, I don't know if it helps or not being a woman in a halter top running, but anyways, I'm just going to bring this loader and help lift the butt end of this truck up on the trailer. short work of that, huh? What? You made short work of that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. We like French with equipment. Dang, we had to go score down the underlay. There's a lot of underlay up there. I know. And it's a lot, is it wider than what we got? It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, there's three rolls. That's our new, uh, boat room. <laughs> and some more stuff, too. All right, so. Uh, probably two. You just paid for yourself, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I will gladly pack this. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ben.
good job. Classic truck rescue. Sometimes we don't get it right the first time, but we get it. <laughs> hey, you had, a, you had a lot to work with there. I mean, that was kind of good. I'll get everything all strapped down. You guys go check on the shop. Okay. Oh, yeah, that don't sound good. Just try to keep the RPM still. A little nerve wracking, Steve. <laughs> Homer's not sounding real good. Might be time for the, the rebuild. <laughs> I grabbed fourth, buddy. See what happens if you grab another gear. Yeah, I'd rather lug them a little than rattle them. Homer's not doing well. <laughs> Steve's glad to be home. Yeah, that'll be his last trip for a while, I imagine. Holy cow, rod knocking, rod knocking. <laughs> oh boy, that was uh, a tense trip we pulled out after we got that truck on there right and he started making a pretty loud rattling noise and uh, I think I pushed Homer about as far as I can oh boys oh Homer's done a lot for us he's worthy we'll we'll put a new engine in him and Give him his makeover. He... Are you crying over Homer? <laughs> we'll fix him. He has worked hard. He's a good boy. We'll we'll take care of him, honey. <laughs> Trucks are people too. <laughs> that girl loves crying over my tow truck because he's hurt. <laughs> She's a good girl. Steve's a good old boy. <laughs> that was no easy trip for him. <laughs> you all right, Steve? <laughs> He's smoking. You got the fire extinguisher handy? Let me know if you see flames. <laughs> that was a wild trip. We had a stack of cars behind us a mile long, and we didn't care. Yeah, he's... uh. <laughs> He's ready for his makeover. Poor guy. <laughs> brakes are on fire. Engines, no brakes. <laughs> engine, no brakes. Engines knocking. Yeah, we'll just stay here and keep an eye on him for a minute. <laughs> hey, look what he did though. He brought home a 48,000 original mile 1957 GMC. Homer, I feel bad, buddy. I do too. Uh, I'm like. I feel bad. His engine was knocking, and I don't know if I Steve of was Steve was sweating, and it, it wasn't temperature. I know it wasn't. You know what? There was this woman in this Honda that just really chapped my hide. Everybody was being cool, you know. Everybody was, was like, being cool. Do this, go ahead, go past, do this. Everybody's cool, and then she had to get in between us. I'm like, you're. Oh yeah, I it. saw that when we. Can we get an Uga? <laughs> you know you got to push it twice, right? <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Homer, we'll take care of you, buddy. Can the motor that's in him be rebuilt? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> I've got it. I've got a motor. I've been kind of 
saving for Homer. He made a tear in my eye. <laughs> people oh, you need to put a V8 in it anyway. He has a V8, a V8. in him. Oh, that's right, it does. Yeah, but I got a, I got a little something for him. <laughs> yeah, I got something for him. <laughs> something you can spin the back. He it. needs a big block. Some disc brakes on it too. He needs a big block, and uh -oh. you know, there's no reason I can't go diesel with him either. Oh, but, I thought you mule hog. Oh, that's uh, nice. That yeah. Sweet. Yeah. The 454 out of that. No, a yeah. diesel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would. All right, classic truck rescue. Another one home. And, uh, fire truck on standby. Fire truck on standby for Homer. <laughs> Steve's nerves are shot. Good job, Steve. Thank you. You <laughs> saved another one. <laughs> He's laughing now. <laughs> He's Seems laughing like now. Last time I drove this, I went came right through the middle of Cami with no brakes. Yeah, right through, <laughs> right through a intersection. <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, get Homer fixed up before he goes anywhere. He, he's okay to put around here on the farm with and pick stuff up. Well, Steve. I don't know. He might not even be okay for that anymore. Steve, we're going to get another dump truck. Yeah. Dump he truck. Have any brakes though? Will you drive it? Of course he will. <laughs> <laughs> Just telling my viewers the other day. Sometimes all I came here for was a pair of fleet side emblems for the truck that I bought. The last two days because it was two trucks actually, a truck and a half. But uh, Gary here has some beautiful cars and said he would share them with us. Sure I never does. disclosed the location of, of where the cars are at. But uh, we, uh, my business is called Classic Truck Rescue. We have about 10,000 viewers and uh, I come across a lot of this and I like to share it with them but I don't share the location so good they won't see any address or, or they won't see where your house is <laughs> I want him to feature Delance on it though <laughs> hey, anyway he's got a, a 55 Chevy two-door hardtop and a 58 Chevy Impala, but uh, I like the story. Could you tell tell her what you were telling me, well, Gary? The story behind the two of these are that when I got married, I had a 55 Bel Air hardtop, had a 270 fueler in it, also had a 58 Impala. Well, we got married, and then you start having kids, so things start going away, you know. So, it took all those years, we've been married 55 years now. Oh, congratulations. Mm -hmm. and Good for you. It took all those years before I was able to get another 58 Apollo and 55 all together. And I told her one of these times we'll get that done before things happen. Now, I got it in Arizona last year, brought it home and, and got it all rewired now and stuff. You just got to get it repainted and ready to go. How long have you had the 55 here? Uh, 15 years. Yeah. This is my fourth. Uh, look under the hood of that thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. Mm. It's huffing. It's puffing. <laughs> Put 375 horses to the rear wheels. Does it does it run? Yeah, yeah I'm ready to could, could I possibly hear it? Yes. <laughs> I know you guys want to hear it. I'll go I'll go back on the business end. Pictures. Yeah. We appreciate it, Gear. I I have to hear this. <laughs> I must. Oh, he's got the bow tie exhaust tips too. Perfect. <laughs> exhaust cutouts on that yeah. no I wouldn't have those <laughs> really yeah they're electric <laughs> that's what I thought <laughs> thank you what a beautiful car thank you for sharing that with us you're more than welcome and you just got the uh, the 58 recently yeah, and you're gonna uh, ride home last oh, last Christmas it's actually in really good shape very solid yeah but that's that's a love affair right there Just beautiful everywhere you look, immaculate. They use pretty good paint, but they did a lousy job with their prep work. Is this the bubble top? 
No, this is no. That didn't come till uh, fifty nine. That was the next year. But you know, Impala, but this is the body style that you want. If this car had its chrome trim on the side, you would just be dazzled because it has beautiful yeah, chrome trim. Beautiful and I like the roof treatment. They have this scoop, uh, faux scoop thing going on the back that's just real cool. But uh, one of these with the chrome trim on it is a gorgeous car. Very gorgeous. And and he's got a very good building block here. Cool. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but there's a difference in the height between 58 Impalas and 58 Bel Air Hardtops. The height of the roof? The windshield is an inch and a half yeah. shorter and all that. The Bel Air is taller. Yeah. 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 And yeah, so, this, this and thing is a little bit longer, too. Other than that, it's about the same. Beautiful. All right, well, I'm going to take the fleet side emblem, Scary, and the uh, headlight bucket. That's that's oh. your car on that board up there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Well, it's on his shirt, too. It's, yeah, on, yeah. His, it's on his <laughs> coffee <laughs> cup. <laughs> it's on everything. <laughs> well, I mean, we were really come ready to pose for this. <laughs> and see the sign of Pharaoh? Oh, that yeah. Oh, that's yeah. his car, too. <laughs> That is so cool. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Oh, Thank yeah. you for sharing that. You're abused. Uh, You're abused. Uh, I, get, I've been, I met a guy. Uh, I had some visitors over from the Netherlands uh, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had bought them an old Ranchero that they wanted to drive around the United States and have shit back in the Netherlands. And they found another Ranchero they wanted to go look at that was by our property. So we went over there to look at it. And the guy that we bought it from had a whole collection, a huge building with a, a Shelby GT500 KR King of the Road uh, Mustang, Beautiful. 55 Chevy convertible, 55 Chevy hardtops, and he uh, he, he let the share uh, his collection with us. And you know, when it, when I, when people are nice enough to do that, I make absolutely mm -hmm. sure nobody has any idea where they're at. Uh,